All right, what is up guys? Welcome to Rookie. In today's video, I want to talk about my last workout when doing dips. You've seen me do one plate, two plates, and now I want to hit three plates, which we're going to do and try in this workout. So what I start with is just body weight dips, eight reps, very clean, went okay. Then I start to do one plate, which is 20 kilos, and I count 22 kilos because actually I just counted dip belt width because that's what I've always been doing. So 22 kilos went great. Two kilos which is two plates went a little bit more difficult I already felt it like radiating a little bit from my sternum so that's why I kept the reps low and um, yeah it goes very well but I have to be cautious But still I managed to push through and I went for three plates because I had to set a record for myself all time and just say okay this is where I'm at and hopefully next time I introduce dips into my workout I can beat that record so it's going to be three plates for one repetition that's 62 kilos and the first set I did with that weight was It, I went too deep, that's for sure, and then when I tried to push myself out, I went a little bit like a dolphin, I pushed my sternum forward and then I went up. Luckily, I didn't hurt anything, but uh, it was borderline, it was very, very scary, so I had to do it again. So my second attempt was a little bit less deep, but it was more controlled and I felt like I, I did a better job at it. So. That's really the conclusion for this session like I really could push through it I had the strength but it was borderline so I think saying that 62 kilos is my one rep max for dips is pretty reasonable so I'm going to be putting it with that now what I like so much about weighted dips is that whenever you drop the weights and you go and do it all out, just an MRAP, that's just awesome, man. You fly up, you really, let's say these, these eight first reps that I did as a warm up without any weight was like an RPE six. Doing them after weights is like RPE three or something. And I really wanted to hit a PR on this one. So I went and did 25 reps after doing a heavy single. How awesome is that? So that's really the power of calisthenics. You, you prime your muscles with heavy weight and then you try it without weight and you're just golden. So that's really it. Am I going to stop dips forever? Not really. I am going to pick it up. Maybe I'm going to throw it into my workout now and then and just uh, call it a day. But what I want to focus on is a bench press because I feel like I've gained a lot with the dips. The dips gave me a lot of mind-muscle connection with my chest. It gave me a lot of a lot more upper chest development and it also gave me more strength to push through my chest. So I'm really curious to see if that is going to help me improve my bench. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, I will make a video on it and uh, yeah before we go I have to show you because I'm finally again on the leaderboard so this is the leaderboard squat bench not mine deadlift that's mine overhead press mine pull-ups mine dips awesome awesome sauce so thank you so much for watching guys I hope you liked this video I hope you got something out of it I hope you're now going to introduce dips into your workouts and see if you can hit that one rep max. 
Obviously, if you do have costal chondritis, I really, really encourage you not to do dips because you're going to hurt yourself more than you're going to gain from it. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace! <laughs>